Do you need a 3D printer as a filmmaker? Of course not. Should you have one? What's going on guys, my name is Kasper Samsonowski and I'm a cinematographer and today we are going to talk about a thing I'm obsessed about since the first use and it is 3D printer. I've got myself one when I was starting my FPV journey and everybody on YouTube says that it is essential and you need to have one. And right now I've got my own for about one and a half years and in my opinion it is something that everybody should have. Because you know that feeling when you are spending countless hours on searching for something that will meet all of your expectations and after visiting dozens of pages you either spend way too much money or you bought something that is okay but... Nah. Or when something got broken in a mysterious way and you can find any part to fix it. Well, if you've got a 3D printer you can do almost anything. It is changing your way of thinking, you are doing something and you've got that thought Hmm, I can print something to make it easier I personally use Fusion 360 in almost everything I've printed I model in this app, but there are thousands of models online which you can use without even touching a modeling software The most unusual thing I've printed so far are, for example, shower siphon my friend needed to change a shower siphon for a new one, but it turned out that production is discontinued. Half an hour in a Fusion 360, 20 hours print, and he's got a new one. Or bumper holder. My sister was waiting for about 3 months to get her car fixed because they couldn't find a part that was needed for it. She gave me that broken part, I modeled it, printed it, and voila, the car is ready and you can do many many more, but cut that BS and finally let's get to the topic which is a couple useful things that you can print as a filmmaker but don't blame me, because a couple of them are just concepts in the making custom lens and body caps when you are on a shoot with other filmmakers there is high probability that you've got the same gear and you are keeping it in the same place and you can end up with not your camera in the back but you can print a custom lens and body caps and in seconds you will know which one is yours but that's not all I've got a step up ring screwed on all the time on any of my lenses in case I want to put my filters on so my original lens caps are useless and like I said you can spend way too much money on bigger original one or you can buy cheap but okay lens cup but if you've got a 3d printer you can print custom ones in any size you want rehouse for lenses especially vintage ones i am follow focus lover and with vintage lenses i've got pretty much one option these birds but many times vintage lenses aren't perfect cylinders and they like to have crazy cutouts so these belts aren't working as they should but with use of 3D printer you can rehouse the lenses and make them easier to work with I made the rehouse bigger to fit in my 49 to 72 step up ring and made it more handy to focus even with hand battery holder if you carry your gear in your backpack I think this is no brainer you put your batteries in it, into your backpack and you have them in one place and in perfect order you can even do the indicators if your battery is full or not I carry my batteries in cases with my cameras but when I'm going on a vacation I put them into the holders, into a little bag and I can take it out anytime I want without searching chaos Light accessories So when I was starting up I bought these LED lights they are tiny and pretty handy on the film set but many times when I was opening my backpack everything inside was hot and these lights were dead because it doesn't take much to turn them on so I 3D printed these covers to stop it from happening and now I'm good to go also I 3D printed grids for my friends LED panels clamps for LED tubes which we use on events 
you can print out almost any Bowens mount accessories or when you lost your LED light cover just print it cases you can print any case you need for your small accessories of course sometimes that is an overkill and there's no need for it like for the screws you can just use a pillbox or any other box with the dividers but sometimes you just can find a nice fitted case for what you need for example I'm a DIY type of guy. Yeah, no shit. So many times I do some sort of soldering. So I 3D printed this case for my soldering iron and it's pretty handy in the field, in FPV type situation. In the near future I want to print a case for my love mics. I bought Salmonic Link 500 to have them just in case. On a daily basis I'm using a shotgun mic. But you get them in this bag and it's not the best way to carry them securely. So I want to print a case for it. And if you know a little bit about the electronics, you can do a case with a charging point to charge them inside the case. Power adapters. Talking about DIY and electronics, I've got one project that I need to spend a little bit more time on, but so far I was using these NPF adapters to power my camera and my monitor on a shoot. It has only two DC ports, so when I need to plug something more, like for a focus motor on audio recorder, I'm out. So I 3D printed this NPF adapters with two DC ports and two USB ports. And to have more time on battery, I made battery. I 3D printed this shell with NPF mount and this beast has only 130 watt hours. Let's speed it up, shall we? You don't need to carry stereo adapter with your audio recorder, but you are worried about these cold pins. 3D print cover for that. You lost your hot shoe cover, print your own. Your talent can remember the lines and you don't want to spend money on prompter. 3D print it. You run out of GoPro mounts and don't have time to wait for delivery. One hour print and you have a new one. New set of protectors for your Cinewood? Print it. Protectors for gimbals? Print it. Guys, just buy yourself a 3D printer. You can find me later. You won't regret it. If you have an idea for any other stuff you can print for filmmaking usage, share it in the comment section below. Maybe we'll get inspired and print something new. But right now, I want to thank you all for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe and see you in the next one.